Old World Plaster. Before you begin this technique, make sure you prime your surface, then apply your flat or satin base color and allow it to dry for 24 hours. We're showing this technique over a smooth surface. The same technique can be used over lightly textured walls, however, results will vary. To get started, begin applying the tinted Old World Plaster at the top corner, cut in with the paintbrush along trim, wall, and ceiling edges. Work in an area no larger than 2 by 2 feet. Fill in the area with a 3 8 inch nap roller. Work in irregularly shaped sections to reduce the chance of lap marks. Next, we'll be using a blue steel spatula. Before you begin, lightly sand the rounded corners with fine sandpaper to avoid scraping your surface. Hold the blue steel spatula at a low angle. Lightly skim across the plaster, removing little to no product in a crisscross pattern to leave trowel marks. Use a smaller spatula in tight spaces and corners. Repeat the process across the room, wiping the spatula frequently with a rag to avoid buildup of dry plaster. Let the first coat of plaster dry about four hours. You may notice it dries considerably lighter than the desired end result. This is normal. Next, hold the spatula at a high angle and gently scrape over the surface in crisscross motion. This dry burnish creates a soft sheen and knocks off any ridges. Now you're going to wet burnish in two by two foot sections. Apply a small amount of plaster to the spatula edge. Hold it at a low angle and swipe wet plaster across the surface. Then use a high angle and scrape across the surface to remove excess plaster. Wipe the spatula frequently then allow at least four hours to dry. Finally, our last pass is another dry burnishing. Use moderate pressure and the same crisscross motion to increase the final sheen of the finish. For additional basic project information, refer to our Getting Started module.